Hi friends! I got a couple of new notebooks today and so I thought why not make a sort of first impressions video looking at those and comparing them to some other notebooks and paper that I already have. So we'll start off, uh, this will not be an in-depth review of these because I'm just going to look at them here. I'll show you some of the features um, and you know, maybe do some writing on them. If I do longer form writing in any of them, I'll let you know what I think possibly. Um, but let's get going. So this is just a random sheet of Cosmo Air snow paper. So snow, it's like Cosmo Air light, but white. Uh, I really like it. Thank you to Matthew with the wet pen for turning me on to this. Um, and then here we have a Leuchtturm uh, notebook. This is a five size and I've got it with a dot grid. Um, you'll see that there are numbered pages here. At the front, um, it has a table of contents and in the, it has a pouch in the back and it comes with this sheet of stickers so you can put the information on what is in here. It also has these stickers here that you can label on the, um, and stick to the spine. So that is our Leuchturm 1917. I can't, I don't know the words for 19 and 17 in German. Um, then we have this one, this is the Nebula Note also a five. I got this with a like white paper. It's got a seven millimeter grid, or seven millimeter, seven millimeter lined. It also has a little pouch in the back and cool is in there. There's this thing that tells you about stuff. And it also came with these uh, two magnetic bookmarks, which are pretty dope. So you just put these over the top of the page and it'll hold your place for you. I really like that. Um, it does not have, oh, I didn't call this out. The Leuchtturm comes with a couple of ribbons, different colors, so you can put those where you want. It has the elastic keeping it closed. This doesn't come with ribbons, but it does have these, which in some ways are gonna be more useful because you can take these and use them in other things if you don't need them for this. Um, so there's that one. Then we have here the Endless Recorder. I believe this is their Regalia paper. I threw away the stuff because that was the right thing to do. Um, came with a sticker and numbered pages. And that are a seven millimeter line. It has a couple of bookmarks. It has a pouch in the back. There's nothing in the pouch. And it also has the elastic. The last notebook I'll show you is this one. It's the Seven Seas Rider. I also have another one. I got this from Nanami Paper. I have another one of theirs that is my journal right now. Um, it's different. This is A5, 480 pages of cream with a 7 millimeter rule. There are um, no page numbers or anything like that. This is a very thin paper. I believe it is the transitional to Moe River. I don't remember now. I have to look it up. This is blotting paper that it comes with, which is really nice because the paper in it is not quick drying. So helpful and this is a um of them this is like the one of these things is not like another uh, aside from just the random single sheet of cosmo air snow and then here are some pens from my 30 ink 30 days so let's write let's start here what do we want to pick hmm 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 i'm gonna grab this one, are you really like, 
This is Black Ivy. This should be a sheening ink. So. We're just gonna do some writing. Um, you know what's funny is I should know what all of these are, but <laughs> this is like literally yesterday's pen and I'm gonna have to look it up. I think this is. Okay, yeah. Okay, I have to move this thing. It's driving me nuts. Do you hear it? Sorry, that was probably loud. Then we want to get shimmery ink. I would like this better in a broader nib right now. But this is, let me get the name of this right. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to write this. And then... <laughs> Are these a good representative colors? Let's do this one. Something unlike the others. Okay. So we'll let that dry. This is a sheet of paper from here. So I'm just going to write on here instead of like right in the book. Thanks. I'm sure you support me in that. I'm gonna call this a medium, but it's probably fine. That's okay, right? Does it matter? We know which pen it is, it's that one. <laughs> so, I don't know if the weather's changing or if I just haven't had enough of the right food today, but getting a bit of a headache. This is a really fun diversion. Um, I've been meaning to make spicy noodles for literally hours now. I also had other um, errands to run. And none of that happened because stuff. I don't know. I don't have a good reason. Um, I, I'm, it's getting dark now. I just, this is the worst time of year. If you like it, you can keep it. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> So do you like to do weird 
things like this with your pens and ink. Figure out what your absolute favorite is, your OTP. We're already seeing the Cosmo Air effect right here. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do in these notebooks is write on the last page. Because what I did in one notebook is right on the first page and then that's why I cut this out. I learned my lesson. Oh, interesting, the very last page of this doesn't have lines on the back side. That seems odd. Hey, these pages are perforated. Wait, that means I can pull it out. We'll do that later. Well, maybe we won't. I like having a page in here that I can scribble random things on. Okay. So, yeah. This doesn't want to bend right here. Let's do the proper, here's how you break in a book. So I think these are glued and made to look sewn. Not sure. What's funny is I think this got juicier sitting open more, but I bet it's just from my hands getting warmer and warming it up maybe, not sure. Um. Has a lot of revolutions, uh, rotations. I mean, the twos, cap. Are you having fun? Do you like the sound of writing? I enjoy it. So many sheets of paper. Let's open this the proper way. This is the middle. Is it? No, 
this is. This is actually sewn, I can see stitching. Yes, it's afternoon pen time, evening pen time. Well, it's, you know, whatever time of day it is for you, but that's not even a word, Maria. I'm going to go unplug my fridge if it's going to try and speak up over the writing. I already have thoughts about this, so this is very useful for me. I appreciate you coming on this journey with me. Well, this is unfortunate. There's already stuff back here. Right on the back of it. We're nearing the end, everyone. You're gonna have to tell me your favorite based on how it sounded and how the ink looks, okay? This is my ask of you. Please keep in mind that the colors will not be accurate. feel like I should just like somehow make that a thing that just like plays across every the screen of every video I make. <laughs> Hiking videos, sewing videos, ink videos. Doesn't matter. It's true. Okay. Done. Done.
We got five different papers. There you go. I think you can see them all. Yeah. You know, I didn't purposely put the two uh, sort of cream colored one next to each other, but here we are. Oh, my computer just went to sleep, probably affecting the light quality. Let's fix that. Okay. So, I'll show each of you up close, each of them up close. So this is the Leuchtturm. Um, you can see the shimmer on here. However, The sheen on the black ivy, it's there, but it doesn't, it doesn't sheen, if that makes sense. It doesn't look shiny in the way that sheen usually does. Here is the, um, the Nanami paper, the writer. Maybe it's a quality of this sheen. Do any of them look, yeah, some of them do look sheenier than others. Okay, so the sheen isn't particularly pronounced on this either. It's there and I can see different colors. So um, in fact, the sheen overtakes this ink quite a lot, but I can see like in the word black, the tip of the C is kind of green and the rest of it's a little bit more ready black. Um, and the shimmer shows up this is a very smooth paper to write on. I really like this. You can see though, there is show through. The Cosmo Air Snow, the line width on this, it makes all of these look more broad, right? So if we look at You might think that I had written these with different pens. They look um, like if this is what a broad looks like, then this looks like double broad. I think that's just universally true. The colors also pop a lot more on this paper, in part because it's white instead of ivory. Um, the sheen is pronounced. I get like that metallic sort of look on of it on it. The um, the shading, all of these, mm, all of these are pretty good at shading. And I'm gonna put an asterisk there. We'll talk about the anomaly. I love this paper, love it. It does feel a bit like you're writing in marshmallows. Um, this one, the Endless Recorder. So this, uh, if you want to compare it to quite white paper, I don't know if that'll come through. This is a little bit, actually, this is not as white as white can be, Cosmo or Snow. Printer paper is whiter. So this is like a shade more cream. Um... This shows off sheen really nicely. Line width is accurate. The shading is good. The shimmer is good. The feeling of it was nice. 
Um, it's fairly smooth. You can tell looking at it, it's smooth. And then the Nebula Note. I'm going to do a thing. Which pen was this? Was this Yellow Cruel? Yeah, so I just wanted to verify my remembering, my memory. Um, so the sheen does, is not super metallic looking on this. It shows, but it's not like a metallic look. This does not seem to shade as much. But if you look at Cassia Flora, maybe it's just how it went down here. I feel this paper more when I'm writing on it. So this is the least smooth. This has, you could call it feedback, but I don't love it. If I'm honest, it's not that it's bad. The paper is good. There's no show through. Um, but I don't know. By the way, this is sewn in. I don't remember if I said. Which one did I think wasn't? Maybe this, but this is sewn in. No, it was this one. Maria, get your stuff together. What are you even doing with your life? I'm going to get what I want. Shiz. I learned about a new method of binding. In which signatures are sort of like this glued. Yeah, I think this is that. I don't think this is sewn. It doesn't matter, it can still be good. But So that was a diversion there, apologies. But yeah, this paper, let's see if you can hear the difference, right? Which ink was this? Ooh. Interesting. Did this dry? Let's not besmirch the paper. It's the pen. It's my pen. Today we learned. So many things, so many things. Cielo. Yeah, I think that's the difference. This feels like an uncoated paper. So I would say write too much on this yeah it feels a little bit more like writing on printer paper but like higher quality without the you know it says ink proof paper and it is but I don't I prefer a really like Closer to glassy, smooth writing experience. So, um, there are many folks that do not like that. Um, so 
this is a this is seems good so far the I like the quality of it I like um, I don't use the pockets but that's nice to have for people that use it I do like the bookmarks it gives you um, I like that this lays pretty flat um, and I like that it seems to be standing up to ink this diamond black ivy is like I feel like that would just go through some papers. Um, let's see. Yeah. So I like this is a nice notebook, but of the ones I have, not my favorite. The Endless Recorder. I like the quality of this. Um, it doesn't seem to lay as flat, which I don't love. Um, but that would be fine. And it has a good ink performance. Although, that black ivy bled through. Now, it's possible that their end page here, their first page, is not actually the same quality paper. Just knowing how books are bound. That's a possibility. But look at that. Actually seeping through a little. Um, the Leuchtturm is, it feels less coated and you feel like a little more drag when you write with it. So it's fine, but I don't like absolutely love it. I did, what I should have tested on all of these is the ink that cuts through everything. But we're not gonna do that. The um, Nanami paper, the Seven Seas Writer. I love this paper. It's so smooth, beautiful. And Maria, when do you cross L's? Apparently in my new reality. Shut up. I love this paper. Cosmo or Snow. Uh, so hopefully this nonsense with all the talking about stuff and notebooks and things was fun. It's given me a lot to think about. We'll see what I used for my 30 inks. It's going to be one of these two. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.